What is the real reason ships don't pass under South America? Most people are aware that the Panama Canal's construction was required to drastically cut down on the amount of time it takes to journey around South America's tip. That being said, there are considerably darker and more dangerous motivations for navigators to choose the longer route. We'll learn more about the Drake Passage today, which is one of the world's most treacherous and notorious straits, a place of passage for some of the most famous explorers, adventurers, and scientists that humanity has ever produced, and an area that regular sailors and commercial ships avoid at all costs. Hello, and thanks for stopping by. To avoid missing any of our new videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and click on the bell notification feature. Sharing is greatly valued, and we appreciate your participation and feedback in the comment section below. Firstly, where exactly is the Drake Passage? Why would anyone travel there if it was so dangerous? The body of water known as the Drake Passage is the same length as the distance between London and Berlin, the 620 miles that separate Cape Horn, Chile, and Antarctica, or the length of the Bering Land Bridge, which connected Asia and North America 35,000 years ago, right before the last glacial maximum. The Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, which are the two largest bodies of water on Earth, converge at the Drake Passage, along with the Southern Ocean. The Strait's average depth is 3,400 meters or 11,150 feet. Although at its southern and northernmost extremities, the depths can drop as low as 4,800 meters or 15,700 feet, which is equivalent to the height of the highest mountain in the Alps, Mont Blanc. Drake's passage is a name derived from Francis Drake, a renowned sailor of the Elizabethan age who played a significant role in the Spanish and early British Empire's struggle for dominance. Born in England between 1540 and 1543, Drake was known as a sea dog who raided, plundered, and waged war against Spanish ships. Despite his violent and graphic resume, Drake was selected to lead an expedition backed by Queen Elizabeth II to circumnavigate South America by crossing the treacherous Strait of Magellan. Drake's journey to South America was marked by violence and the death of Thomas Doughty, a leader of a gang suspected of treason and witchcraft. He believed a meeting point of the world's big seas might exist beneath the tip of South America, but never attempted to cross the strait. Francisco de Hoces, a Spanish colonist and explorer, discovered the Drake Passage in 1526, which is still referred to as the Mar de Hoces in Latin America. Willem Schouten, the first person to successfully transit the Drake Passage, established the most dependable and popular sea route around South America until the Panama Canal was opened in 1914. The Drake Passage is known for its voluminous seas, the Antarctic Circumpolar Current ACC, and the two distinct states, Drake Lake and Drake Shake in mythology. The mean annual temperature across the Drake Passage varies from 43 degrees north to 30 degrees south, and the mean annual air temperature ranges from 41 degrees Fahrenheit in the north to 27 degrees south. The Drake Passage, the main waterway leading to Antarctica, is known for its dangerous conditions. It is one of the world's most isolated places, making emergencies difficult and requiring self-preparedness. The waters are extremely cold, making it difficult for humans to survive. The only vertebrates without red blood cells are ice fish, which have translucent blood and white hearts. The convergence of currents, where warmer currents from the South Pacific and South Atlantic Oceans meet the chilly Antarctic Circumpolar Current, creates turbulent conditions at sea. The strong winds, known as the Roaring Forties, Furious Fifties, and Screaming Sixties, produce tall waves, rough seas, and harrowing sailing conditions. These winds originate from warmer places further north, causing unpredictable weather changes such as severe visibility reduction, strong gusts, heavy precipitation, and choppy waves. Antarctica was believed to exist long before humans, with the ancient Greeks referring to it as a terra australis incognita. British explorer Captain Cook attempted to find Antarctica in 1772, but never reached the southernmost point in documented navigation history. Despite warning the harsh conditions, Cook unintentionally contributed to some amazing feats of human endurance and strength, influencing a generation of scientists, hunters, explorers, and daredevils. The late 1800s saw a resurgence of interest in traveling via the southernmost oceans, leading to the space race in the late 19th century. British explorer Robert Falcon Scott attempted to reach the South Pole in 1910 with the Terra Nova expedition, but faced challenges such as bad weather, food shortages, and storms. Scott and his team returned with over 200 fossils of plants and animals, sparking curiosity about the region's abundant biological history and thriving biodiversity. The Drake Passage was a challenging journey, but it was a significant milestone in the history of exploration. 
The discovery of the region's abundant biological history and thriving biodiversity has sparked a new generation of scientists, hunters, and explorers. Ernest Shackleton attempted to reach the South Pole in 1914 using dog sleds, but his ship, the Endurance, was pinned in pack ice before reaching land. Shackleton and five other men ventured into the Drake Passage, known as the most dreaded bit of ocean on the globe, in search of assistance or land more than 700 miles away. They navigated turbulent waters and 100-foot freezing waves, surviving for approximately 30 days until arriving at the South Georgia Island Whaling Station in Stromness. The remaining crew members were left stranded on Elephant Island after four rescue efforts spread over three months. All the members of the expedition survived and their abandoned ship, the Endurance, was discovered over a year ago. In 2012, Brazilian businessman Joel Lara Mesquita's Marcem Fim yacht was stranded in Antarctic waters, causing extensive damage and requiring the crew to sell the vessel due to limited insurance. In 2019, Colin O'Brady attempted the first human-powered crossing of the 600-mile Drake Passage with five of the strongest rowers in the world. They successfully completed the journey, despite suffering frostbite on their hands and feet. In 2022, Berbera Hernandez Horta broke the record for the fastest ocean mile swim, winning the title of World Open Water Swimming Woman of the Year and inducting her into the Ice Swimming Hall of Fame. These massive swims not only test her limits but also bring attention to the cleanliness of the Southern Ocean. The Drake Passage, a crucial hub for scientific research, plays a pivotal role in the stability of the planet's climate. Its opening tens of millions of years ago causes severe climate shock, and its journey to Antarctica attracts diverse individuals from various backgrounds. The Drake Passage and other areas near it are vulnerable to anthropogenic climate change, and a collapse could permanently alter Earth's climate, similar to how it did 17 to 49 million years ago, due to increased atmospheric carbon dioxide. Scientists are currently traveling to the Drake Passage to confirm the effects of centuries of hazardous conduct rather than to incur significant risks. The most bleak climatic forecasts, if they come to pass, will be validated among other important locations at the Drake Passage. It is true that our knowledge of Drake Passage and the Antarctic Circle is far less than what we would like to think. The region still has some of the world's most terrifying and breathtaking oceans, and the waters themselves are still calm and unchanging. And while the viability of sea transport across the region has improved due to such significant technological advancements, in many ways, these developments are little more than confidence boosters insurance policies for the perpetually doubtful. No matter how much we may like to think of ourselves and our technological achievements as achievements, we are still nothing compared to the great forces of nature. Despite the minuteness and complexity of our technology, we could always be wiped out in an instant along with all of our priceless knowledge and possessions. Nature never shows its limits to retaliation. A human reckoning will always have its place as will the open path, while by no means the easiest for human bravery and human insanity. That's where we wrap things up for this episode. It is actually a great deal sticking around until this point. Here's a quick recap of what to do before a new video is published. First up, be mindful of our uploading schedule and timing. You can also keep up with new video uploads by clicking the like, subscribe, and notification buttons. To freely supportive work, you can return the favor by sharing our content and making this channel your home for valued information. Also, your feedback in the comment sections below is greatly valued, some of which will be featured in new video releases. Thanks for watching this episode and do have a splendid day.